Please be seated. For the past few days, I'm sure many have attended Father Bobby's enlightening talks here in Kuwait. For those who have not attended those talks, let me share a few key notes on Father Bobby. He belongs to the Vincentian congregation of the Delhi province. They are in charge of all the mission works in North India. Father did his seminary studies in North India. On being ordained a priest, he has served as a missionary in UP, Assam, and also conducts retreats and spiritual talks. He's also, uh, he's right now serving in Manipur uh, as a director of two retreat centers called Divine Glory Retreat Centers. He's a native of Idiki district in Kerala. Presently, his family is residing at uh, Barnaganam, uh, a pilgrim center where the mortal remains of St. Uh, Alphonsa remains. He's also a member of the national service team of the Caris India. He's also a co-committee member of the Caris Asia Oceanic region. And that's how uh, a father is involved in the Caris ministry by giving retreats and spiritually, uh, spiritual talks uh, locally, nationally, and internationally in different language, uh, languages. The Holy Spirit has anointed uh, Father to share tonight with us the word of God. I humbly welcome Father Bobby. May God anoint him with the Spirit. Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This night, Father is here greeting you all in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus, our Savior, who has died for us, who is risen and is seated at the right side of the Father, interceding for each one of us this night so that we may receive His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, so that we be able to live for His kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 It is so beautiful to pray all night because Jesus used to do that. And night prayer always brings double anointing because we are abstaining from sleep. And so it is fasting and prayer, both together. Also, usually darkness stands for the evil one and most of the evil activities are done in night. And the prince of darkness the prince of darkness, that's the evil one, who is actively present during dark time. To fight against him, we need to be awake in the night. The Lord used to be speaking about this importance of staying awake. He used to say, Jagate Roho, Jagate Roho, that's what we, 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 we hear in the Bible several times the Lord says. So this Jagaran, this night vigil is going to be a time of blessing for each one of us. So once again, in Jesus' name I welcome you because Luke 9, 11, when people came to the Lord, Jesus welcomed them. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So we read in the scripture, Jesus welcomed them. So. So when people came to him, the first thing Jesus did was he welcomed. Then he taught them about the kingdom and healed all those who were in need of healing. That is 9, 11, Luke. Welcoming, teaching about the kingdom and those who learn about the kingdom will be healed. There is no doubt about it. Whenever someone learns about the kingdom, the mysteries of the kingdom, healing takes place. It's always like that. So Jesus 
is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So same Jesus who welcomed 2,000 years back when people came to him, he welcomed them. Same Jesus is here welcoming each one of you. So give a good hand to each other and say, Jesus welcomes you. Give a shake hand. Okay, so, so give a shake hand to each other and say, Jesus welcomes you. Okay, so give a good smile also. So, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we shall learn something beautiful about the kingdom this night. As I reached here this night, I heard you were singing here, someone was singing here, the righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom of God. We all know that. Uh, that is in uh, uh, Romans 17. Uh, 17? Romans 17? Anybody knows? 14, okay. So Romans 17, 14. Kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is nothing about drinking and eating, but righteousness, peace, and joy. Say hallelujah. And you know what is righteousness? Because righteousness is something very important. That is why the Lord says, seek first the kingdom, kingdom of God and, and his righteousness. So in the kingdom, three pillars, righteousness, peace, and joy. So that is the kingdom, three pillars of the kingdom, righteousness, peace, and joy. First pillar of the kingdom is righteousness. Then peace and joy. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So the Lord says, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. So it's something very important, very, very important. That is why it's repeated. Righteousness is already in the kingdom. And now he says, again, kingdom. So we shall learn in, in righteousness. In Hindi, we call it dharmikta. But in Malayalam and so on, it is, uh, it is uh, very poorly translated as niti. niti. So... That is not a, a full meaning. So, righteousness. What is righteousness? So important it is because that's why the scriptures presents righteousness as a remedy for all the bondages that can have, that can come to you because of sinfulness. See, because of sins, there can be a lot of bondages. We can be in bondages because maybe if sin is remaining in the family, for example, family tree, is contaminated, there can be a bondage. So, for example, parents opened the account of sin and died. So, with their death, the sin is not over. Because the first rule of sin is, sin is not exhausted by itself. Sin cannot be over by someone's death. For example, parents opened an account of sin and they died. And that doesn't mean that that sin is over. It remains in the family tree and it affects the life of children. Surely it is. So temporal sufferings will continue recurring in the family. That's why those families will be under a bondage we call. Bondage means flow of blessings will be affected. There will not be continuous flow of blessings. That means the plan of God, the will of God for a particular person for a particular time will not be accomplished. There will be a lot of delay. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So I'm not explaining that now, but, but there is a remedy for all the bondages. So ultimate remedy for the bondages is uh, seeking righteousness. So that we read, for example, in the uh, first letter of uh, Peter, St. Peter chapter 2, Verse 24, we read like this. First Peter chapter 2, 24. First Peter chapter 2, 24. Someone can be here with the word of God to read, maybe with the mic. It will be a help for me, two, three people, if you are ready, prepared to read. Because we are going to go through some word of God next to one hour. So I want you to read. So first Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Someone can read? So... In his body yeah. on the cross. On the cross. So that uh -huh. free from sins. Yeah, free from sin. We might live for righteousness. Uh, 
we might live for righteousness why he bore see now it's very very important listen once again listen once again he himself he himself mm. bore our sins in his body on the cross so so on the cross he bore our sins so he died for us he died for us the ultimate reason why jesus died for us continue so that so that free from sin free from sin we might live for righteousness we might live for righteousness say hallelujah hallelujah say hallelujah hallelujah so that is why he died he took our sins on the cross on the tree so that free from sin we might live for righteousness what is the righteousness uh, for which we should now live say hallelujah 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 so righteousness is not a holiness alone you know righteousness when you think you don't think that it is holiness you know holiness is a part of righteousness only so righteousness is much more than that say hallelujah hallelujah for example second corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 second corinthians 5 21 somebody finds out second corinthians chapter 5 words 21 last sentence of chapter 5 second for verse. our sake for our sake he made him to be sin he made father made jesus to be sin hamare karan usne paap banaya usko uh, so he made him to be sin who knew no sin uh, he knew no sin and that person is made our sin you know if you have not seen your sin you can look at the crucified savior he is our sin full of blood we cannot say that this is a human being and his shape is gone that is what we find i'm like a worm i'm not a man that his his image his shape has changed the entire body full of blood and wound so that's our sin so who knew no sin father made for our sake him to be sin so that uh, so that uh, in him in we him. might become the righteousness of god ah, we might become the righteousness of god see without knowing righteousness how can we become that so ultimate reason why father made jesus to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of god Say hallelujah. 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 Uh, that is in Old Testament also we constantly recur, uh, we come to know about this one, this righteousness, righteousness. For example, Psalm 23, uh, we all know very, very, very common uh, scripture passage. God is my shepherd. So 23.3, can you read Psalm 23, verse 3, 23, 3. He restores my soul. Restores my soul. He leads me in right paths ah. for his name's sake. Okay, so that is, which your translation is Bible? That should show me that Bible. Uh, that is RSV? Yeah. NRSV, okay. So anybody else also, any other translation also is there? Anybody? Because different versions will have full uh, meaning we will get to. Anybody else also can read? Same? Yeah, for righteousness. So, he leads us to righteousness. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, we shall just, I used to explain about this righteousness taking so much of time, but we are trying to squeeze this. Uh, if you listen carefully, you will understand. And it is very, very important to understand righteousness so that we are preparing to receive holy spirit today and the uh, the ultimate thing that holy spirit does in the work in the in the life of a person that's what we are going to see today the why we need holy spirit if you don't receive holy spirit what we will like the ultimate reason why holy spirit is given and the final gift that the holy spirit has given to jesus or what, what the Holy Spirit has accomplished in the life of Jesus, we will find right now. So before that, I, I would uh, um, ask you to go to 
Isaiah 61, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 10. Isaiah 61, 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul exult in my God. You remember someone when you hear this? Yes. Mother Mary. Ah, that's good. So that's very good. So my, I rejoice in my Lord. Lord. My soul exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments Garment. of salvation. Garment of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. Robe of righteousness. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. So I rejoice in the Lord. I rejoice in the Lord because he has clothed me with the garment of salvation. That is, he covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. Say hallelujah. 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 See, we, when human beings have sinned, we have lost the robe of glory and we felt that we were naked. In the beginning when Adam has sinned, the first consequence of sin was he found himself to be naked. Usko laga ki wo nanga hai. So he found that he, he is naked. So, so he tried to hide. Also, they, both of the husband and wife tried to make some, some arrangement, you know, some jugad ka kaam kiya. So, so some arrangement. What was the arrangement to cover their nakedness? What did they do? Ah, they tried with some fig leaves, but by evening leaves, uh, <laughs> leaves got withered and they were having the problem again. So, so, so the Lord intervened and the, the remedy for their problem, God did. How, what did God do? What did God do? What was the remedy God did for them? Genesis chapter 321, read. 321, Genesis chapter 321, read. And the Lord God ah. made the garments of skins ah. for the man. Ah, garment of skin. So in, a, in certain other Bible, if you somebody read, then you will find animal skin. It is there. In other versions, it is animal skin. So it is skin. So... God made for them cloth with the skin, that is animal skin. So that means one animal is slaughtered and this God the Father skinned it and covered them. That was the remedy. So who was the animal killed for our sake? Jesus, ah, Lamb of God. So that is why John 3.30, 3, 3, Three, uh, no, John 136. So uh, when Jesus was coming, John the Baptist said, he is, the, he is the Lamb of God. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. 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 So, so this Jesus had to be skinned. That is why Jesus was stripped off. You know, that, 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 uh, the, the cloth of Jesus had become like his skin because with the wounds and with the, with, the, with the blood, it has become like one. And while he was stripped, it was like the animal being skinned. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with that only, the skin of Jesus or the essence of the Lord or he was covering ourselves with Jesus. So... Father was covering us with the robe of righteousness. That is why we rejoice. Now the scripture says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord. I had a lot of shame. I was not joyful because of my sinfulness, my guilt. The consequence of my sin was taking away my joy and peace. But now I rejoice and I exult because the Lord has covered me with uh, the robe of uh, righteousness and what is that righteousness that is the skin of jesus that which that which has covered the lord the essence of the lord or what jesus is all about that is that 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 is righteousness first corinthians first corinthians chapter 1 verse 
30, 1, 30, 1, 30. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. Read. 3, 0. Ah. Ah. Wisdom. Ah, he became for us righteousness. He became our righteousness. Say hallelujah. 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 So God has made Jesus as our righteousness. So now we need to understand the essence, what Jesus is. To understand righteousness, you need to know what is the essence of the Lord with which we are covered. Say hallelujah. 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 See, in order to understand Jesus, in order to understand the Lord well, see, for example, Jesus said when he came into the world, John chapter 14, verse uh, uh, 9, I think, Jisne mujko dekha hai, usne pita ko dekha hai. He who sees me sees my father. Jesus said, anyone who sees me sees my father. So, if you really want to see Jesus, I want to see the Father, what God is, what God in essence is, you need to look at Jesus. Now, to understand Jesus, the church is giving us the, the piety, the devotion to the sacred heart because Jesus revealed himself by, by revealing his heart fully. So that is why in the church we have a devotion to the sacred heart. One of the most beautiful devotion in the Catholic Church is devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. And through Margaret Mary Alacoque, Jesus has revealed his desire that his sacred heart, the icon of sacred, the image of sacred heart should be in every house. In every house without faith. Every Christian, every Catholic house who believes in Jesus, uh, that uh, the Lord wants that, you know, image of the sacred heart. Why sacred heart becomes so important? So, uh, uh, in the feast of, the solemnity of the feast of uh, uh, sacred heart, in the Latin mass, we have, you know, very special mass in the mass book, the Missal. That day, very special prayers are there. The solemnity of the sacred heart. Also for every first Friday, we use that prayer. So in the Latin mass, those who go to the Latin mass, the Latin rite, the Latin rite in the mass, in the beginning of the mass, you know, there is something called entrance antiphon. Entrance antiphon is usually one word of God which summarizes the theme of that day, entrance antiphon. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Listen carefully, okay. Entrance antiphon will be a word of God. Church will present one word of God which will summarize that mass's theme. So, on the feast of, the, or the solemnity of the sacred heart, on the solemnity of the sacred heart, in the mass book, the Missal, the, the entrance antiphon is like this. Entrance antiphon is taken from Psalm 33, two words put together, 11 and 19. Words put together, the church has made one sentence and is presented to us. That is the sacred heart. That means, you do you know, do you want to see the heart of the Lord? Do you want to know the heart of the Lord? This sentence summarizes. That is from Psalm 33, words 11 and 19. That two sentences put together, it is presented like this. So, in the Missal, if you take the solemnity of the sacred heart of Jesus, that day's entrance antiphon is what Father is going to tell you. It is like this. The desire of the heart of the Lord, the desire of the heart of the Lord from generation to generation is to save our soul from death and to keep us alive do during famine. The desire of the heart of the Lord from generation to generation is to save our soul from death and to keep us alive from famine. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Repeat this with me. The desire, the desire, the desire of the heart, the 
the desire of the heart of the lord the desire of the heart of the lord from generation to generation from generation to generation is to save our soul from death is to save our souls from death hallelujah hallelujah and to keep us alive and to keep us alive during famine during famine hallelujah 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 so from generation to generation from age to age this is the only desire of the heart of the lord the desire of the heart of the lord is this that he should he wants to save our soul at any cost say hallelujah hallelujah and to keep us alive during famine famine means when grace is not working when you are not under grace that time also he wants to keep us alive somehow that is the mercy of god say hallelujah, hallelujah. and that is called the righteousness of god say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. at any cost he wants to he wants to save our soul that is the only desire god has so that is the essence of god that is the heart of the lord say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so the desire to save our soul that is his desire that is the only desire john 3:16 we all know john 3:16 for god so for god so loved the, loved the world, world that he gave his only he son gave his only son so that who believes in him should, should not, not die. perish but, but have, have eternal, life. eternal life say hallelujah hallelujah so that is his love that we should not perish he loves us means he wants to save us his love is saving love his love means he at any cost he wants to save us for that he is ready to give anything and he was ready to give his only son to save you your soul is so precious say hallelujah 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 so that is why matthew 18 14 matthew chapter 18 verse 14 matthew chapter 18 verse 14 soon it is not the will of your father in heaven should be lost one of these little ones be lost this is not the will of the father in heaven that one of these little ones one of these little ones say hallelujah hallelujah saint john chrysostom and some other saints fathers of the church used to explain who is this little ones it is not the desire of the father in heaven it is not the will of the father in heaven that any of these little ones be lost who is the little one you know is not about the children the little ones means those who have lost the grace for example those who live in utmost sin at the sight of the world these people are of no use for example maybe living in big big sins like committed all the crimes like some people like who had been going and killing others maybe because of the religion or whatever it be and for the world it is like you know there's so maybe so 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 such type of people who are not worthy to be alive we we consider about certain people they are the little ones whom the world doesn't want those who are maybe in the family those little ones are maybe a drunkard addicted useless not working not taking care of the family they are the little ones they are not in your good list when you want to invite someone for something these people will not be in your list they are the little ones the least the last the lost such a people father doesn't want their soul be lost father is set to work at somehow because their soul also is mine say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so that is why father is sending his son to this world with this desire that is the righteousness of god john 6:39 read john chapter 6:39 John chapter 639 somebody read aloud John 639 ha huh. 39 for yes ha huh. and this is the will of ah, him then 38 also read 38 38 huh. for i have come down from heaven i have come down from heaven jesus is telling i have come down from heaven not to do my own will not to do my own will but the will of him who sent me ah uh, but the will of the one who sent me that's why i came i came not to do my will main apni ichha puri karne nahi aaya hu i have not come to do my will i have come to do the will of the one who sent me and 
and, and this is the this will is the will of him will of him who sent me who sent me that i should lose uh, nothing i should lose nothing of all that of all that he has given he me he has given me he has entrusted me this i should not lose anyone that is the will of the father that's why he came say hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is the will of the Father very clearly declared? 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 and 4 also. Read 1 Timothy chapter 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Easy to remember. 1 Timothy chapter 2, 3 and 4. 1 Timothy chapter 2, 3 and 4. Somebody read together. Uh, read soon. 2, 3 and 4. Uh, okay. Chapter 2, 3 and 4. This is right. This is right. And is acceptable. Acceptable. In the sight of God our Savior. Uh, in the sight of God our Savior. Who, who, desires who desires everyone to be saved. Everyone to be saved. And? And to come to the knowledge of the truth. Uh, he desires that everyone to be saved. Not only Christian, not only Catholics, everyone. His desire is this, that everyone be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Say hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Read somebody Galatians chapter 1 verse 4. Galatians chapter 1 verse 4. Galatians 1 4. Galatians chapter 1 verse 4. Um, Galatians who, 1 4. Who gave himself for uh, our sins. Who gave himself for our sins. To set us free. To set us free. From the present evil age. Uh, According to the will of our God and Father. Uh, according to the will of the Father to set us free from the bondage of sin, from this present dark age. The will of the Father was this, that we should be saved. Say hallelujah. 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 Can you go to letter of Titus? Titus. Titus chapter 3, uh, verse 3 onwards. Chapter 3, uh, Titus chapter 3, 3, 3. Words uh, maybe uh, three one or four. We ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by men and hating one another. That's our condition. That's what we were going through. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior okay. appeared, He okay. saved us, not because of our deeds it's done by us in righteousness. It was not because of our righteousness. Uh, but in virtue of his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal by in the Holy Spirit, Spirit which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ, Christ our Savior, Savior so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what God does. That is his nature. He wants to save us. That's why he has come. That is called the robe of uh, the, the that is called the righteousness the desire to save everyone that is god's righteousness whatever you are though you are sinful though you want to run away from me but still i will not leave you i will come after you say hallelujah, hallelujah. so that is why 99 righteous people holy ones were there but one is lost and he is going after the lost one that is his righteousness say hallelujah so 99 were obedient. One was very disobedient from the group. In the group, one was very disobedient. He didn't want to obey because he was very proud. He thought that I, I have passed my degrees and so on. I'm not like these people who have never gone to school and so on. I cannot be like this. I know such and such a place is there. There I can go and eat better food. Sweet grasses are there. I can earn more. So because of greed, because of pride, this man ran away. And he went to one faraway place and got lost in sin. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And the evening came and he counted the master came to know, the shepherd came to know, it's only 99. So he knew uh, that one might have been lost because he was always like that, growing up disobedient. And when he got a chance here, and he could very well say, let him get lost. All my obedient ones are here. <laughs> Wherever I have shown the place, they are here. This one is lost. Let him go and die somewhere. No. The righteousness of God was like this, that he left the 99 here going. Don't gaya. Jo kho gaya, usi ko khojne gaya. Oh, that one is lost and he's going after the lost one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
and he was searching here, he was searching there, and found out maybe from a, a, a maybe a, a shop of maybe alcohol or somewhere, or where some prostitutes were there, and from there somehow found him out. And if I would have been there, if at all I would have gone to find him out, I would have brought him dragging all the way and in between giving some beatings also. So that others should know that I will deal like this. But this man is bringing him, carrying him on the shoulder. <laughs> Say hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody earlier told me that, you know, in the class, in the catechism class, once a sister said, see, showing us the, the picture of the good shepherd. See this lamb on his shoulder. If you are best in the class, he will carry you like this. So I, I became so sad because I was not at all the best. I could, I had, I was so introvert. I was, I was such an introvert. I could not, I had no extracurricular activity. I could not make friends, I could not talk, I had a lot of family issues, poverty and other things and because of that it hurt me so much I was. By the time I passed it metric, by the time I turned 15 year old, I had only three friends name whose, whose name I still remember. So because I could not make friends like that. So I thought I will never be carried by him. So I became out of coverage area of uh, <laughs> so I thought like that. But now I knew, later only I knew, this is not the best in the group. Ah, the last, the least, the lost is being carried. So I was asking, Lord, why are you carrying this sheep, you know, on your shoulder? You could at least drag him like that. Then he says, if I keep him down, he will run away again. That is why I am keeping out of shop. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is the righteousness of the Lord. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. All throughout his life, Jesus showed this. Jesus showed. See, he was, oh, everything that Jesus was doing to reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. Every step that he has taken, every action, everything was to reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. Say hallelujah. 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 For example, once we find this Jesus, he is there waiting a noon time in a Samaritan village. See, Samaritan village, you know, Samaritans. Samaritans and Jews, they had a lot of problems. No Jew would eat anything from the hand of a Samaritan. They considered Samaritans as second class citizens. And they would not sit with them, they would not talk with them, even if at all have to talk also, just minimal talking, communication. Never eating together. They will never invite a Samaritan to dine with them. That is love. Now, now, Jesus is entering into a Samaritan village and waiting there. Noon time. Usually in Palestine and you know, noon time, you know that in the Middle East, you know, noon time nobody goes out usually because it's very hot. So, to carry, to fetch water, either they go early morning or late evening. But noon time, Jesus is there by the side of a well as if he is waiting for someone. And he made an excuse, you know, Bahana Banaya, and send all his 12 apostles go and buy food. Usually to buy food, two or three going is enough. This time, sending everyone. Everyone go and find out what you, what you want. So you choose. Everybody go and choose and, and buy like that. So he wanted to be alone. Why? To reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. He knew one lady is going to come. A lost sheep is going to come. Say hallelujah. She will come noon time because she wanted to hide herself from others morning and evening. She will not go to fetch water because she was living in sin. Already stayed with the five men. Now sixth one was online already. So, so, so like that. So she was living in sin and all these people knew. So already it is Samaria. So the least among uh, for the Israelites, these are the least ones. Now, among the Samaritans, this is another, the least one, the lost one. The Samaritans also do not want her. For such a person, the Lord is waiting noon time. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. 
and she came and slowly leading her to faith and when she believed that it is messiah the jesus she is running leaving her what matka jar okay so so with that she is running and she is bringing others by that time the disciples came apostles came and they are bringing food for jesus also rabbi eat then what did jesus say what did he say what did jesus say did he, did he eat no then jesus said mine is over mera khana ho gaya then they said who gave you food samaritan village could he eat from samaria how come that he ate then jesus said my food what is my food hey john chapter 4 words 34 jesus said to them my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work say hallelujah hallelujah my food is this what is that to do the will, will of, of the him. one who sent me say hallelujah hallelujah what is the will of the one who sent me he already revealed what was that that i should not lose any oh. of these little ones say hallelujah hallelujah so that is the will of the one so hallelujah hallelujah now immediately after that he says do you not say there are eight four months then comes the harvest i tell you lift up your eyes and see how the fields are already white for harvest what is he speaking what kind of harvest whether it is wheat or rice or paddy or what is that ha eh? speaking about what souls yeah he says he is speaking about souls that is the food the zeal for souls that is why i have come not to do my will my food is this my food is to do the will of the one who sent me say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. that was the will of the father that i should not lose anyone so that is why in a samaritan village he is there going so that is to reveal the mysteries of the kingdom say hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord, praise the lord. Hallelujah. 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 hallelujah hallelujah now another time we find jesus one evening time late evening time that all day he was very busy and preaching about the kingdom of god so many people were there he was preaching and also he was uh, multiplying the bread and giving and the people were tired by evening these apostles were tired and now the lord is telling by late evening he says now let us go to the other side of the sea abhi abhi hame us par jana hai why the lord is showing that urgency it is late evening us par jane ki kya zarurat thi why we should go to the other side now this late evening already these people are tired and going to the other side means you know they were not having motor boat and so on these people had to row and again hard work and also weather was very bad already peter knew see he could predict see weather is bad this is going to be storm and so on but jesus made them to get into the boat going to the other side jesus was so tired that he was sleeping say hallelujah <laughs> and still going to the other side why he had to, to reveal the mysteries of the kingdom he was not going for sightseeing it's already night so say hallelujah <laughs> so why he had to go to the other side there was not their house their house was not there now where are they going they are going to garrison ganesarath garrison you know the place where according to tradition garrison was a place there not even one single jew was there only pagans where pagans are there this man is going the night you know night time going to the other side traveling miles in spite of the bad weather there was a storm and jesus had to get up and calm the storm after that they are reaching garrison why the lord is going to garrison to reveal this mysteries of the kingdom the moment he reaches there it's from mark chapter 5 only i'm ready so when the moment he reaches there there came from the tomb one man what kind of man demoniac possessed evil spirit was there so the moment they reached there came from the tomb one man he was possessed say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 
a man with an unclean spirit say hallelujah so a evil spirit was in him and nobody wanted him family members also threw him out that's why he was living in a in the tomb and the entire village hated him they all wanted this man to be dead and go because this man used to be naked only people tried their level best to clothe him but he like nakedness and he will somehow tear away all his clothes and roaming around naked say hallelujah, hallelujah. presence of unclean spirit unclean spirit and this means an undue and inordinate uh, curiosity and love for nakedness will be there so that is why pornographic addiction and other things and tomb experience that is you know tomb experience is speaking about death connected with the death that is another experience when evil spirit comes that gives you know death dryness tomb like that another thing he used to scream and yell so that is another another uh, effect of uh, the presence of evil spirit shouting screaming yelling another thing he used to take big big stone and used to hit his own head and bruise himself it is not the nature of human beings to hit themselves for example if one dog comes barking and even if you were really tired still you will try to run fast say hallelujah, hallelujah. and uh, then this dog is coming behind you then you in your lifetime never climbed on a tree that time you find yourself on the tree <laughs> how you do not know later because that is your desire to save yourself that is human beings nature say hallelujah, hallelujah. animal nature also is to save themselves for example you are taking a stone and wanted to throw at a dog the dog will not say ah okay throw here here it is a good place like he will try to save his punch what is that tail also and keep in the safest place and run so because he doesn't want that also to be attacked so that is his nature but when devil and its evil spirit is there then people will try to kill themselves that is why in the cigarette and on outside it is written it causes cancer such a thing you are taking <laughs> taking stone and uh, that no human beings will not do animals also will not do only evil spirit and that is why tobacco and so on in our place and so on is like that they do like this like this and so on. like that now here these things will not be there in in many places it is there this tobacco and so on and it is written it causes cancer they are keeping it like that say hallelujah Hallelujah. you know alcohol kills and alcohol is something that destroys but people go and uh, buying with the money and uh, killing themselves say hallelujah. hallelujah so that is presence of evil so that's why bible says anyone who commits sin are bringing destruction on themselves they are killing them so that is because of the presence of evil so this man was doing say hallelujah, hallelujah. another thing was that when jesus came this man is coming and and uh, worshiping him and saying why have you come to torment me that is the thing when evil spirit is there presence of the lord becomes a torment for you anyone who has any evil spirit presence of the lord any divine thing become a torment prarthana se aapko chidu hone lagti hai so presence of the lord becomes very tiresome when you start praying again and again <gasps> will come say hallelujah start one one mother was telling my my daughter is 12th class studying but not sleeping other 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock and so on i can see her just you know going through some mobile and so on and like that she is hidingly watching something and so on but father when we say rosary first decade itself she will sleep down <laughs> oh what a power of the rosary like that <laughs> <laughs> so that is presence of the lord any divine thing become a torment for those who have unclean spirit so if you have an unclean spirit any unclean spirit inside that uh, uh, prayer becomes very difficult you know for family prayer and so on you will somehow try to uh, you know 
pull to the other side like that and bring our talking and making and uh, you know watching this these things and other things everything and homework and planning and everything so you will bring in you will try to avoid family prayer and so on so it's you will not enjoy so that is why presence of evil so in spite of all that jesus came to meet this man say hallelujah hallelujah and jesus wanted to save this man and that is why why jesus was showing that urgency because the evil spirit elsewhere it is written why have you come to torment me before the time say hallelujah hallelujah before the time before the time you have come so this man is asking the evil spirit only talking evil spirit is talking why before the time you have come why what is the time before before the time you came that means i wanted little more time i am doing my work i wanted little more time before i completed my work you came that is why say hallelujah hallelujah that means one more day if i got i would have finish him off and you are coming before the time say hallelujah hallelujah that is now we understand the urgency jesus showed these as disciples were saying if you want to go to the other side after resting to tonight tomorrow we can go <laughs> but jesus knew if we keep it for tomorrow that man won't be there that's why he showed urgency this night now we have to go and he cast out devil then devils were begging please please give us a place at least some pigs are there help us to go there and jesus said go say hallelujah 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 how many pigs were there how many were there ah it is about 2000 say hallelujah hallelujah and this evil spirit entered the pigs someone was saying this pigs were little more spiritual pigs so they said it is better to commit suicide than living with evil spirit <laughs> so so 2000 pigs committed suicide <laughs> and this man got saved say so message is this jesus allowed 2000 pigs to die for the sake of this man who was not a you know government employee <laughs> so he was not earning anything for the family such a man family all wanted this man be dead and go as early as possible for such a person 2000 pigs jesus was ready to 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 put it into the, put into the water say hallelujah hallelujah so once me and my companion priest we were calculating trying to calculate 2000 pigs average 50 kilo one pig <laughs> so 2000 mota mota pig bhi hai so <laughs> only 50 kilo <laughs> 50 into 2000 say how much 50 into 2000 1 lakh yeah 100000 so 1 lakh so in manipur it is at present 500 rupees kilo 1 <laughs> kilo pork meat pork meat 1 500 we cannot say here pork meat and so on so so 500 into 1 lakh 5 crore 5 crore 5 crore indian rupees he threw into water <laughs> for the sake of this foolish man <laughs> roaming around naked screaming and yelling <laughs> say hallelujah. hallelujah now we understand the meaning of psalm 49 7 and 8 psalm 49 7 and 8 psalm 49 7 8 इन हिंदी इट इज जीवन का मूल इतना ज्यादा है किसी के पास पर्याप्त धन नहीं हो सकता द कॉस्ट ऑफ लाइफ इज टू मच दट नथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड कैन सफिस जीवन डे विडल विला अत्र वाले दान इतने आयालम ते कई हुई ला से हाले लुया हाले लुया सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन सिंगल सोल is so much that all the wealth of the whole world put together is not equal to the life of one person that person may be the least for the world useless addict 
drug addict going around threatening people for the family he is a big nuisance and for that single soul the whole wealth of the whole world is not equal that is what scripture says that is the righteousness of god say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. and as a remedy for all the sins that you committed today what the lord wants that you take this robe of righteousness meaning desire to save souls zeal for souls and without zeal for souls you cannot that is why jesus said just as father sent me now i send you say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. on the pentecost day the uh, gospel is like this jesus is breathing on them and said peace be with you just as the father sent me i sent you go that's why i give holy spirit go for what for what just as father sent me why father sent me i have been sent by my father he said very clearly we heard i have come down not to do my will but to do the will of the one who sent me and this is the will of the one who sent me that i should not lose anyone who is entrusted to me say hallelujah, hallelujah. and now jesus said just as father sent me i send you john chapter 20 verse 21 also john chapter 17 verse 18 also chapter john chapter 15 verse 16 15 16 17 18 20 21 is it remember 15 16 17 18 2021 same thing you have not chosen me i have chosen you and appointed you go find and and you should bear fruit the fruit that last what is the fruit that last it is soul it is not body anything connected with body no saving souls and jesus 17 uh, 18 father just as you have sent me into the world i am sending them into the world and jesus was not speaking about the 12 people only bible says he was not mentioning the 12 alone but he he said i am praying not only for this 12 but for all those who are going to believe in me through the preaching of this you are there i am there about us what did he say father just us you send me i send them once you forget this you cannot have any relationship with the lord that is why in the catholic church you look at any saint till today they all had this fire in their heart the fire about which jesus said i have come to cast a fire how much i wish that it be kindled that fire is the fire the zeal for souls once the holy spirit came all these people were on fire and they were ready they have only one desire now not our safety but souls first day itself they saved 3000 say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. that is the fire the fire that is real for that is why dear ones i don't know whether you know it or not even if a person is so holy like uh, never committed a sin you have proved that person never committed a sin but catholic church has no guarantee to canonize him as a saint if the church has not found categorically in that person zeal for souls church can canonize a person as a saint not only because of the good work other what you have done or the the lack of sin or you were sinless no but one thing is to be mandatory there that is zeal for souls hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. saint vincent de paul used to say can fire be there without burning can sun exist without burning can fire exist without burning and next thing a christian cannot exist without having a burning desire to save souls he is not existing if 
you have no desire to save souls you are secular you are never a religious you have nothing to do with christ because just as father sent me i send you every christian is a missionary and so many people today name say christian but they have no desire to save souls they want good work here good money here good job here and they want their children to go there study this and get settled there 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 and they don't want any sickness to come near they don't want any suffering near they go to church to pray 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 asking this 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 nothing connected with the kingdom no righteousness never seeking the kingdom becoming worldly secular in nature thinking only about yourself selfishness that is why we say i want only two children you have nothing to do with the kingdom you want to live a posh life with your money saving rejoicing in the bank account bank balance maximum giving is 1 kd to church and you are ready to spend maybe 10 kd or 15 kd for good drinks no problem where is the kingdom say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. when the scripture very clearly says that uh, for example pro pope gregory pope gregory the great he used to say no sacrifice is more acceptable to god than zeal for souls zeal for souls without that there is that is why all these people every saint if you look i was writing you know i was pointing out in the life of the saints i used to read what saints are speaking about zeal for souls saints are speaking about zeal for souls i have now a big book in which i have written all so much they are speaking about the zeal for souls everyone my basic thing is this that is called righteousness this is righteousness you become the righteousness of god means you become like christ but you have only one desire how can i save how can i get more souls how can i save my life partner how can i save my spouse how can i save my children how can i save my parishioners and when you find people living in sin then it comes to you as a pain it will pain you when when churches are empty when for the retreats people are not coming it will give pain to you that's called righteousness say hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St. Vincent used to pray, Lord, if I am useless for you in saving souls, please allow not to live here one more second. If I am useless in saving souls today, don't allow me to live. That is why St. Paul says, Woe to me if I don't preach. Dikar muche edhi me susama charna isu nao. Suvishe shamprasai ki nilengi duridham. when you do not have this zeal for souls there will be woe to you dikar duridam say hallelujah hallelujah the john bosco saint john bosco used to say give me souls take away the rest that was his motto dami hi anima chatare tole atma ungo dena mera sarvasv lelena atma kale teriga sarvavum eduthukol i'm ready to suffer it i am ready to give anything i am ready to be denied of my good name my good health and everything but give me souls that is the fire for which the lord has come for which the holy spirit is sent say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. maximilian kolbe used to say we have no right to rest as long as a single soul is in satan's slave pope pius 12 pope pius 12 he has said i have written down few things uh, pope pius 12 said no one is permitted to be idle and lazy while so many evils and dangers impend while those who are on the other side are working so hard to destroy the souls you know catholic is permitted to be idle and lazy the other side people 
because the evil spirit to kill to destroy the soul night and day they are active and you simply lazy and only working day duty night duty and so on you don't have time at least to to be awake in the night and pray one hour say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Saint Teresa of Lisieux, we have only short moments of this life to work for God's glory. The devil knows that. That is why he tries to make us waste our time. Let us save souls. Souls are falling into hell, innumerable as the flakes of snow on a winter day. Jesus weeps. Instead of consoling him and trying to save as many souls as possible, we are brooding over our petty sorrows. petty thing ah, this is not going my this is not healed my sickness is not going you are so much worried about your things only why are you not using your sorrows to save souls say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah so as a remedy for all your sins the lord has covered us with the a blanket with a with a with a cloth a garment of salvation a garment of salvation or robe of righteousness it said say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. when you receive that in all the saints and all the martyrs you look this is there and that's what ultimately holy spirit gives a zeal for souls and once this fire is not there you become worldly you become worldly you never serve the lord you don't have anything to do with the lord you have become worldly selfish to the core say hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord please stand for a while we make a beautiful uh, prayer to the holy spirit that is the prayer of cardinal mercier cardinal prayer to the holy spirit by cardinal mercier it's a beautiful prayer say hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so it will be in the screen can you read together holy spirit soul of my soul i adore you enlighten guide strengthen and console me tell me what i ought to do and command me to do it i promise to be submissive in everything that you permit to happen to me show me only what is your will say hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so what is the will of the father to save us ah that even the least one to be saved not even one to be considered that ah this man let him perish no should not give up everyone is precious every single soul is precious say hallelujah hallelujah oh holy spirit one second we pray one second we pray the same prayer please keep <coughs> oh holy spirit soul of my soul i adore you enlighten guide strengthen and console me tell me what i ought to do and command me to do it i promise to be submissive in everything that you permit to happen to me show me only what is your will say show me only what is your will show me your will teach me to walk in your way hallelujah 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 so seek first the kingdom and his righteousness the kingdom means where everyone is welcome everyone comes under the power of the lord everyone accept the authority of christ that is the kingdom and the righteousness is this god's great desire to save every soul and he is ready to give his only son for our soul say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 This is the fire that God wants to Jesus wanted to put into every heart and he says how oh, I wish that it be kindled in every heart. I want to see that fire. That fire. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was the fire 
on the day of Pentecost coming onto us. And all the fruit of the Holy Spirit coming together and giving you this great desire to save every soul. Say hallelujah. 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 Now listen carefully. That is the final thing. This is the most important thing we are going to learn today. So righteousness we understood. Now, God decided to save through a way which was unacceptable for devil. Listen carefully. God decided to save through a way which was unacceptable for devil. Save means from the clutches of sin. That is save. Uh, is uh, the, from the slavery of uh, sin or uh, uh, Satan. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. God decided to save through a way which was unacceptable for devil. What was that way, you know? That is the way of the cross. Say hallelujah. 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 Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. There could be different ways. For example, prayer. Jesus was very prayerful. He used to pray in the night. Early morning, every early morning he used to go. Sometimes all night he used to pray. Especially when he was supposed to take any decision. For example, before choosing the apostles, in Luke chapter 6, 12, it is written, all night he prayed, morning he called to himself 12 people. So who are to be chosen? All night he was asking, Father, what should be the decision? Isko chunnai, kitne longo chunnai, all night. So he sat all night. Then only he got to know how many are to be. So he was, he was praying. We, many of us, uh, you know, very often we think that, you know, um, we have to take so many decisions and how much you pray very often, we don't pray. But so, what I wanted, my, my, uh, my, my point is not that. The point is this, though Jesus was so prayerful, even when his work was so much, when his work increased, when work increased, he left all the work for prayer. Such importance he has given. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can someone read 5.15 of uh, Luke 5.15? Uh, just... Uh, uh, some people are thinking father has forgotten that we are standing. <laughs> I but want you not to forget father is standing. That is Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Luke 5.15. Read. But now uh -huh. more than ever more than ever the word about Jesus uh -huh. spread abroad uh -huh. many crowds would gather hmm. to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. diseases uh. But he would withdraw to, uh, to the deserted places and pray. Uh, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, the, Jesus became very busy. He became very famous. And so many people from far flung area started coming. Thousands of people. And everyone wanted to see Jesus. So some people wanted counseling. Some people wanted to listen to the word, so sweet word, jada bolo, jada bolo, aaj sunne ke liye aaya hai. So, like that, so many people are there, everybody wanted Jesus. And he had a lot of work. His preaching work is there, healing work is there, deliverance work is there, because some people are coming with satanic possession. Unko bandh bandh ke leke aaya hai, matlab, some addicted and possessed people are there. So, that is the PhD of Jesus, preaching, healing deliverance work. Okay. So that is so Jesus was doing that. When people came, so many people came, Jesus did not think so today is so many people. So let me give more word and let me otherwise what they will think. No. He left it abruptly and ran to pray. So work cannot substitute worship. Some people think karma hi puja hai. Uh, my work is my worship. God knows I am doing duty for my children. So night duty, day duty. So after that, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Sleeping. God knows because I am working. <laughs> and such a holier work Jesus was doing, you know, preaching, healing, deliverance. But that also could not substitute his prayer. That is why he, he left the work for prayer. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so such a prayerful man he was. So with that prayer he could save everyone. Why he had to die on the cross and so on. 
Say hallelujah. hallelujah. With the prayer he could save. Then why with the prayer alone he did not save? The popular answer, you know, uh, theologically it is, so much is there, but still, just to make you understand, popular way of understanding. Because Satan also could pray and you could not defeat Satan with the prayer alone. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. That is why the possessed man, the evil spirit one, and uh, Abdu the Grest Admi, when Jesus came, he is coming and worshipping first. He worshipped literally. And he said, in the name of God I pray, don't torment me. He prayed. Ishwar ke naam pe prathana hai mujhe na satana. Hallelujah. So he prayed. So he also knows to pray. With the prayer alone, you cannot cast out demons completely. With the prayer alone, you cannot save souls completely from the clutches of Satan, ultimately. Because prayer he can bear. Prayer, to an extent he can bear. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Then you have faith. Jesus had strong faith. He knew that he has come from the Father, going to the Father. Father has entrusted him everything. John 13, 3. Just listen one more thing. After that, I will make you sit. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. But with the faith he could save. Then why with the faith alone Jesus could not save? Say. Satan. 13.3. No need, no need, no need to read now. Say hallelujah. 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 Satan also had a faith. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Bible says you believe in God. Ha, ah, well and good. Satan also believes. Not only that he believes, but shudders, trembles. Fear of God also is there. Not only that he believes in, he, when he hears the name of Jesus, he shudders. His faith is better than many of our faith. We have faith, the sacrament is there, but sitting there also we will gossip about, they will see, see, what me, what me. <laughs> Sitting in the church also, we have, that is only our faith. We know Jesus is there, but still we don't have fear of God. Satan has fear of God also. Little better faith. And he knows that Jesus is the only Savior. Rest all things in wake of my work. He knows that. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So with the faith alone, you cannot defeat Satan and so on. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Then what I will do? Then word of God. Ah, I will take word of God and save everyone. With the word of God alone, can you save? Jesus was giving the pure word. Then if with the word alone he could save. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Satan also knows the word. That is why Satan was quoting Psalm 91 when he tempted Jesus. We thought Psalm 91. With that 91 I will cast out demon. I thought. But Satan is quoting Psalm 91. When tempting Jesus. Jump down for it is written. I know. Psalm 91 only he is quoting. Verse 12. Yeah. Tomara, uh, oh, if before your feet strikes against the uh, stone, um, uh, the, your angels will come and uh, guard you. So it is, he is quoting. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Then what? Uh, praise and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will say and save every soul. Is it possible? No. Why? Because before the fall, listen, before the fall, Lucifer was angel in charge of the choir. Aha. Praise and worship. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that, that was the area once he was ruling. So be careful, okay? <laughs> so, okay? so usually, that is why in our retreat center and so on, choir team, before entering for prayer also, we will bless them. After that also, we will bless them. Because otherwise, they will be there fighting. Mike Merkel name will have... They will be fighting. <laughs> Because that was the area where once Satan was ruling. So he knows ABCD about praise and worship and so on. So with the praise and worship alone, you cannot defeat Satan completely. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And therefore, God knew in his omniscience there is only one way, one thing remains, which Satan cannot bear. Accepting unjust suffering willingly which Satan cannot bear. 
accepting unjust suffering willingly for the salvation of souls that is why jesus said blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake this is the kingdom of heaven say hallelujah atmaon ko bachane ke liye kya dard uthane ko taiyar hai that satan cannot bear accepting suffering willingly satan can never do he will bear suffering with threatening murmuring accusing gossiping and to, and all the bad words with that he will bear but never can he bear with righteousness for the souls sorrows that are used by the lord will produce repentance leading to salvation no question of regret but worldly sorrow leads to death worldly sorrow means sorrows without righteousness suffering without righteousness when you don't have a desire to save souls every suffering became worldly there is death hidden in it say hallelujah that is why st augustine used to teach st augustine used to teach what perfection of christian life does not consist in how much good you have done instead it consists in how much evil you have endured did you hear that hear once again the perfection of christian life does not consist in how much good you have done how much prayer you have done how much money you have given no how much praise and worship or how much rosaries you have done no perfection consists in how much evil you have suffered endured that is why jesus said luke 21 19 by your endurance you will save souls say amen, amen. by your prayer no by your endurance you will save souls that is why if anyone wants to follow me anyone wants to serve me let him follow me if anyone wants to follow me let him deny himself carry the cross and follow me because without cross you cannot save souls because salvation is already invested in the cross now please be seated say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 praise the lord Hallelujah. 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 We will have a break after after maybe little more time. So I want to to complete this one. So very important topic. So please listen and after that we will take a, a break. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So the reason the son of God appeared was to destroy the work of the devil. Say hallelujah. First John chapter 3 verse said the reason the son of god appeared was to destroy the work of the devil say hallelujah, hallelujah. so now if he has come to destroy the work of the devil listen listen now one important thing if he has come to destroy the work of the devil why today also i see the work of the devil in the world when i see in my family so much of work of the devil there are cancer there are sickness there are accidents there are divorces there are so much of uh, misunderstanding so many families are being broken this work of the devil i see then the son of god appeared to destroy the work of the devil then why he has not destroyed the work of the devil say hallelujah, hallelujah. now my question is did he destroy the work of the devil yes or no yes say hallelujah. hallelujah when you say yes then you have to do you have the answer for my question there are so much of work of the devil i see gossiping fighting threatening bombing say hallelujah. hallelujah then how can we explain it say hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the lord praise the lord see uh, I, I, to explain that it's a beautiful thing see once you understand this you can never be defeated once you understand this message what I, father wants to give you say hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, before that i will tell you one incident see fa- father was once preaching in brunei brunei uh, in brunei while i was preaching a retreat uh, almost 5 years back so one man during the preaching he got up and he said father i have a question his name is bastian i still remember 
So, so he said, I have a question. So my question is this, Father, I hate serpents, snake, because I find Satan there, image of Satan, because Satan first tended through this serpent. So my father also was like that, once we see a snake, we will kill it. Okay, you kill, what's the problem? No, what is it? That is not the problem. Problem is this, Father, when I read the book of Numbers, I find that, you know, when Israelites were sinning, these serpents came. Yeah, serpents came, fiery serpent came. Yeah. And biting people and dying. So people were dying. Now that is not the problem. Problem is this, the Lord is asking Moses to make a serpent with the bronze and lift it. And all those who look at the serpent will be saved. Father, I, I don't want to be saved looking at the serpent. <laughs> Better I die. I'm angry with the Moses also for lifting serpent. Father, you people will say that it is Jesus and so on. If Jesus and so on, why serpent? God could say, Moses, make a lamb. Then we will understand Lamb of God coming Jesus. Why serpent? Or God could ask to put maybe a dove. Then we could say it's Holy Spirit. But such a dangerous, venomous, poisonous, bitter creature lifting up and people are looking everywhere and getting saved. What is the meaning? Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Did you think of that? <laughs> Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 All are alive? Yes. Yeah, very good. Say, Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So now listen carefully, okay? This serpent was the first the instrument of uh, sin. Say hallelujah. Serpent was the instrument of sin. It is through serpent they were tempted and they sinned. Yes or no? So, I had been preaching, those who have heard me earlier, I was in every session, at least one time I have used this because this is very, very important because it, once I came to meditate on this passage, it has changed me and my ministry and I could help thousands and thousands in a manner. That is wisdom 11.16. That you should know instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So the entire history of the human being is this. Man is sinning and they are dying. Punished. Sin brings punishment. And Punishment for sin will take the same form of sin itself. Instrument of sin become instrument of punishment. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And every punishment has two things in common. Every suffering has two things in common. One is it is poisonous. Venom is there. Every suffering can kill people. Because of suffering, people commit suicide. Some die by suffering. Uh, suffering is poisonous. And second thing, suffering is bitter, not sweet. Every punishment is bitter. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So now, instrument, the Old Testament summary is this. People commit sin and they are punished. They die in sin. That is what people had been suffering, you know, because of sin, they die. Instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment. So serpent became instrument of sin and it became instrument of Punishment. That is why in the wilderness, serpent is going on biting and killing. Did you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment. Book of Wisdom 11.16. Punishment for sin will take the same form of sin itself. So about that I am not going to explain now. That is a big topic. And so many of your problems you can understand. It is connected. Punishment always connected with the sin. Every suffering is connected with sin. Either because of your sin or the sins of the family or sins, collective sin of the world. Collective sin of the world. Punishment. So suffering is never from the Lord. Listen, suffering, no suffering is originally from God. 
say hallelujah. hallelujah every suffering somehow connected with the disbalance which human beings brought into the world our sins say hallelujah hallelujah when god created everything was good usne aakash ko banaya acha laga aur isko banaya usko banaya sabko dekha acha laga he created everything and he saw it was good say hallelujah, hallelujah. now we saw we see here we see there things are not good so much of struggles suffering and it is basically sin our sin or parents sin can bring uh, you know so much of uh, inherited sufferings like inherited blessings inherited sufferings are there inherited sorrows and uh, collective sin of the world you know it's not because of my sin not because of my parents sin but also i can suffer because sin is already in the world so for example i was sitting in a bus and the bus driver was a uh, little careless and uh, he went and uh, made a, uh, an accident and uh, i got hurt thing like that someone's carelessness someone sins for example there was people because of their greed they adulterated the food and putting medicine in the vegetable and so on and so on while and so i have eaten that and i got cancer say hallelujah another thing is that because of the greed of the people like that so much of pollution and because of the pollution so many got lung cancer and other cancer and so on so where from it is whether god created it no it is not from the lord it is collective sin of the world say hallelujah, hallelujah. so either of these three ways only you will suffer say hallelujah. hallelujah whatever it be so punish instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment say hallelujah so every punishment is bitter and uh, poisonous every punishment every suffering is poisonous and bitter any suffering you can imagine maybe you are uh, because of the drunkenness of someone you become a lo lot of poverty homelessness or you could not study well you could not get a good mark and you could not get a good job and so much so much of suffering whatever suffering comes to your family maybe in the family in in, in your in your married life there is a lot of misunderstanding suffering the husband may be beating or drinking whatever it be it is poisonous and bitter say hallelujah, hallelujah. when the children stop obeying bitter and poisonous it can bring a death even <coughs> say hallelujah. hallelujah so whatever it be what i want to tell is instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment that is what was happening in the world now on that day in the chapter 21 of uh, maybe book of numbers 21 so that was a very historic moment when people are dying because of the fiery serpent that serpent fiery serpent killing that stands for every suffering say hallelujah, hallelujah. this fiery serpent biting and killing people stands for all your suffering whatever imaginable suffering you have any suffering in your family that 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 is poison 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 is there and also it is bitter so a serpent stands for that serpent is poisonous and also it is not a very cute creature like you know you don't give oh so how cute this the serpent is we won't say like that so it's it's bitter something like that so like that say hallelujah. hallelujah so so serpent stands for that every suffering that you have instrument of sin becomes instrument of punishment now what the lord was proclaiming that day was this what i am going to do through my son to save you from the clutches of evil one instrument of punishment i am going to make instrument of salvation listen 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 that is the summary of the new testament instrument of punishment i am going to make as instrument of salvation say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. did you understand this so any suffering that comes to your life in jesus christ it is going to be instrument of salvation say hallelujah. hallelujah actually it is the work of the devil bringing suffering and in order to make the suffering our instrument of punishment as instrument of salvation god has to pay the price what price he paid he entered into the work of uh, uh, the punishment uh, the, uh, entered into all the works of the devil any work of the devil which you can imagine god has entered already poverty misunderstanding rejection humiliation sickness pain 
everything jesus accepted say hallelujah that is why he was publicly stripped he accepted all kinds of humiliation every rejection any pain that you can imagine here on earth jesus endured the ultimate pain human being enters uh, here on earth is this god is not there for me say hallelujah when you find that god is not there that is the maximum suffering in order to save you god allowed jesus to enter into that also for a moment that is why jesus entered into that moment from where he cried out alay alay lama sabakatane oh god even he lost the freedom to call him abba oh god why have you forsaken me say hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise, the lord. praise the lord what is the meaning this into all the suffering father allowed jesus to enter he entered there and invested his precious blood there and came out say hallelujah, hallelujah. so that today when suffering comes to you punishment comes to you maybe because of your own sin or because of your parents sin or because of the collective sin of the world any suffering that comes to you already jesus has ended there and invested the power to save there so when you enter what you should do you accept it with righteousness that is what is righteousness readiness to save soul the desire to save soul with that you accept that suffering immediately that suffering that instrument of punishment will become instrument of salvation it will lose the power to kill poison will be deleted it becomes salvific bitterness will be deleted it becomes sweet say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. that is why when this this serpent was lifted by moses to save the desire to save that is righteousness god's righteousness lifting up this and when you lift it up it becomes salvific it is no more dangerous it is no more bitter it is no more poisonous if you do not lift your suffering for righteousness sake it will be poisonous and it will destroy you worldly sorrow brings disaster and death say hallelujah. hallelujah so ultimately what we should do every suffering will be meritorious provided you accept it with the righteousness that is the key and when you accept it with the righteousness there is a name that is called endurance and this name endurance is very important this endurance how you get all the fruit of the holy spirit coming into a person all the nine fruit of the holy spirit put together one word in english endurance that is joyful suffering your peace is not gone your joy is not gone your love is not gone sufferings you accept with the love to save <laughs> that is why i rejoice in my suffering all those who want to live a godly life in christ jesus will be persecuted say hallelujah. hallelujah that is why blessed are you when you are persecuted for righteousness sake say amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah that is why satan is bringing suffering to destroy you and god is hijacking that instrument of punishment and making is his weapon actually cancer is brought by devil but the lord invested already entering into the suffering invested his precious blood in the cancer so when you have a cancer you accept it and you offer i unite the suffering my cancer with the suffering of jesus and i offer it for the salvation of so many cancer patients you become powerful your cancer will be saving so many people that is why bible says since he himself suffered he can help those who are suffering a person who has entered into suffering should help others otherwise how long will you be a beggar please give me healing here 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 you will be when you have a small back pain or or stomach pain you will be asking for healing only the lord is asking how long will you be a beggar when will you be like me when will you be saving people 
when will you think of others you are selfish you are thinking of only yourself you don't want to suffer when you have a pain immediately remember people who have same pain and lift it up you can help thousands of people who are going through the same pain if your husband is an addicted person you are entitled to save thousands of addicts because you suffered that if one of your children has lost faith you should not be lost you should not be depressed you are entitled to save thousands of people like your child who have gone away because you suffered that pain you can help thousands of people who are going like this only a person who suffered can help those who are suffering say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. thus every suffering become meritorious every cross become salvific then with the saint paul we will say i rejoice in my suffering i want you to know from the jail he says i want you to know what is happening to me is not a block in evangelization but it is a help susamachar ke kare mein badha nahi hai balki sahayak hai i can save so many that is why saint paul says i don't have anything to be boasting in 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 my visions he says i know a person who 14 years back taken to third heaven who is speaking about himself he had mighty 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 visions third heaven he was taken say hallelujah, hallelujah. and he says i i know a person who was taken to third heaven and also so many things was revealed to him about which he cannot utter say hallelujah I know a person who 14 years back caught up into third heaven chapter 2 Corinthians chapter 12 two onwards whether in the body or out of the body I do not know god knows and I know that this man was caught up into paradise whether in the body or out of the body I do not know god knows he heard things that cannot be told which man may not utter you know saint paul was shown heaven so many secrets about which he was not supposed to utter so many things he was supposed to utter he can reveal he revealed in his letters but there were much more things he was not supposed to utter such heavy uh, uh, visions he used to get but he says i don't have anything to boast about that because with the visions i cannot save souls say hallelujah a little more louder hallelujah. hallelujah it's very very important say hallelujah, hallelujah. but i have something with which i can save people like a madman i say countless beatings often near death five times i have received at the hands of the jews 40 lashes less one not one time five times say hallelujah because at a time 40 lashes was the punishment according to romans and so on so more than 40 they cannot so they used to stop 39 because even by mistake one is extra also it should not be exceeding 40 so that is why usually they give 39 so 39 like five times he was received that was not like this beating they you know the beatings which uh, they used to get yeah. so i am not explaining that so it is it is which man cannot imagine such a pain three times i have been beaten with rods once i was stoned three times i have been shipwrecked a night and day i have been adrift at sea frequent journey danger from rivers danger from robbers danger from my own people danger from gentile danger in the city danger in the wilderness danger at sea danger from false brother and toil and hardship though a many sleepless night through many sleepless night hunger and thirst often without food cold and exposure all this he had gone through and he says if i can if i must boast i will boast of these things my weakness because in my weakness he said i will show my strength i can save souls through these beatings so he says i boast about this that is why he is keeping the counting and he says i have suffered this say hallelujah Amen. now you understand perfection of christian life doesn't consist in how much good you have done it consists in how much evil you have endured but the difference is righteousness if you don't have righteousness you will make it worldly and you will destroy it and it will destroy you 
एंड द लॉर्ड सेस आई विल गिव यू ट्रेशर्स हिडन इन डार्कनेस मैं तुम्हें अंधकार में छिपे खजाना दूंगा आई से 45:3 आई गिव यू ट्रेशर्स हिडन इन डार्कनेस से हालेलुया 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 सिंस आई हैव गोन थ्रू सो मच ऑफ पेन फ्रॉम माय चाइल्डहुड नाउ आई नो हाउ इट हेल्प्ड मी सो मच almost 14 houses i stayed by the time i was 15 i had gone through the pain of uh, having a father who was drinking i was uh, i was so so much uh, uh, an introvert full of inferiority complex and all these things helped me now i have so much of love for the homeless people and the lord is allowing me to help them so many and thousands and thousands of drunkards have lost have come out of this addiction because of my ministry and my love for them i have so much of love for all the addicts because i see my own father there i help them so much everything became since i myself suffered i can help those who are going through now last uh, one year we have gone through unimaginable suffering in uh, in uh, in manipur before that the lord last five years back itself lord allowed me to enter into this bloodshed that is why after reaching manipur the lord has allowed me to go through four operations which i have seen you know, i have spent almost 30 40 days in utmost pain cutting here and so on and so on lord allowed me because he knew he said the bloodshed i live in a place of bloodshed in manipur to help these people you have to enter into it hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. we have gone through so much of rejection opposition underground following us threatening us chasing us out terrorist groups coming we have gone through it to help those people who are going through the thing without entering into suffering you can never think of saving anyone by your endurance only you will save souls that is why saint paul says i boast of my suffering i rejoice in my suffering when he was put in jail he says rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice say hallelujah, hallelujah. let's all stand for a while dear ones today what we are going to pray this night is this in the adoration for endurance which the holy spirit gives to endure all kinds of suffering for the salvation of souls when you use your sufferings to save souls that sufferings will stop having hold on you it will end once you use your sufferings to save so many souls after that that suffering will not be there it will disappear but once you do not use your suffering for the kingdom of god those sufferings will keep pestering you till you die the best way to deal with suffering make it godly for that you need endurance endurance comes from righteousness once you have endurance what will happen to you bible says james chapter 1 2 3 4 james chapter 1 verse 2 3 4 please read james chapter 1 verse 2 3 This is a beautiful say hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 praise the lord praise the lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah okay i read it for you my brothers and sisters when you have various sufferings various suffering say count it all joy my brothers and sisters when you meet various trials meaning various problems various difficulties various sickness count it all joy my brothers and sisters for you know for you know the testing of your faith produces endurance let endurance have its full effect that you may be perfect complete lacking in nothing perfect complete lacking in nothing can you be perfect like your heavenly father yes when you have endurance say hallelujah let endurance carry you all along meaning today also you accept suffering tomorrow also you accept suffering and you become perfect lacking in nothing that moment when you die there is no more purgatory needed for you you will be counted 
as a saint it is not with your prayer and other holiness it's with your endurance you used your sorrow to save souls satan was bringing so much sorrow suffering maybe because of your well, the family problem you know family parents had been living a sinful life and you are suffering now what is the remedy righteousness saving souls use your sorrows lift it and it become salvific jesus took bread in his hand what was that bread what that was his body the suffering that he is going to enter into he is he knew in within few minutes i am going to suffer in the body he knew he knew that time he took bread in his hand and what did he do gave thanks gave thanks gave thanks thanksgiving in the midst of suffering is called eucharist that is called eucharistia thanksgiving what is eucharist thanksgiving taking bread that is suffering in the body and gave thanks no more murmuring no more complaint gave thanks then it became instrument of salvation say hallelujah, hallelujah. instrument of punishment becomes instrument of salvation and he took wine in his hand what is that that's mental agony after one hour after this uh, last supper he is going to the going to the garden of gethsemane there father will put the sinfulness of the world in front of him and it became so much for him that he will sweat blood that is the sinfulness of your children your husband or your wife or your parents becomes so much for you mental agony you are sweating blood it is too much it is much much more painful than the the bodily ailments the sickness which many of you can carry what you fail to carry is what the shortcoming of other people sinfulness of your family members you will feel like sweating blood that time courage jesus has already gone through it and he take he took it in his hand you also take it united with the suffering of jesus and give thanks then it becomes salvific thanksgiving in the midst of suffering and for that you need holiness holy holy spirit you need holy spirit only with the holy spirit we can do that endurance once you get endurance you will never be defeated by evil you will defeat evil with good the good with which you defeat evil is endurance and with endurance you will save souls and what is endurance all the nine fruit of the holy spirit put together one word endurance <coughs> love is there peace is there joy is there gentleness is there faithfulness is there meekness is there say hallelujah 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 and with that we will save souls that's all the saints look at all the saints they all had this endurance is there any saint who has not gone through suffering no one is there any apostle who had not gone through suffering no one is there any say catholic saint whom you can see who has not gone through suffering nobody i come from alfonso's place she is the one who said give me more give me more she was begging for more suffering we guys beg for less suffering please take away this suffering that person is giving me trouble father please give him a transfer as early as possible from her is giving so much of suffering <laughs> and that is why we go for retreat that is why we make all our novenas and making ourselves worldly say hallelujah hallelujah tonight is a night is going to change our life the lord is going to fill us with a joyful spirit our joy nobody will take away as the lord said no one will take your joy from you no one will take your joy that is called endurance john 16:22 no one will take your joy from you amen, amen. say hallelujah hallelujah and when you be able to take delight in the lord you will be able to take delight in the lord and he will give you desires of your heart you become powerful a person who has got endurance will be powerful you will pray on someone you receive healing because 
your ability to be joyful in the Lord amidst suffering will make you powerful. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Say Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have seen small, small desires of my, which I have just sometimes desired. Lord is bringing, not only small, big, big things also the Lord will do. I have total trust in the Lord because I make sure at the end of the day, no one will take my joy from me. No Dick and Harry can take away my joy. They will try their level best bringing suffering, but I will accept all the sufferings and use to save souls because Jesus has already, God in Jesus hijacked all the weapons of Satan and made his weapon. Message of the cross is foolishness for the world. If you are worldly, you will ask, why should I suffer? Why should? Why should? It is foolishness, injustice. We don't want foolishness for the world who are perishing. But for us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Power of God. Power of God. Say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hand. Remember Jesus crucified. Whenever you stretch your hands, we should remember Jesus crucified. Say hallelujah. 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 Abba, Father, Abba Father, purify me, purify in, me. The in the precious blood of Jesus and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Make me instrument of your salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Help me to accept the suffering, me to accept suffering. For, righteousness sake. for righteousness sake, for salvation of souls. Salvation of souls. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give a good clap for the glory of God.